Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. A vast majority of Thailand's 72 million population depends on various kinds of watercraft to navigate the roughly 500 miles of coastline, connecting the 400 islands along the Gulf of Thailand and the Andaman Sea. Apart from the modern speedboats and ferry lines, Thousands of unique locally made transport boats, run by crews dressed in some of the most colorful outfits in the boating industry. The decorated wooden boats alongside the speedboats feature a well-organized daily travel schedule. moving passengers and cargo from terminals like Phuket to numerous other locations along the coastline. However, besides their outstanding decorations and the crew's colorful outfit, these boats feature an outstanding propulsion system. They are powered by massive V8 diesel engines, retrieved from old trucks, refurbished, and skillfully mounted to sit at the stern of the wooden hulls. ครับเป็นเครื่องหัวลากญี่ปุ่นครับเครื่องเทนเลอร์ครับ For such an innovative but risky setup engine pre-checks and general installation overviews must be carefully conducted by the helmsman before the start of every trip. Much diligent work and other resources must have been invested in these monstrous 500-pound eight-cylinder engines This is why they are certified by the government of Thailand and trusted by locals and tourists who confidently put their valuables and even their babies on these boats for journeys that usually last hours out in the open sea. Unlike standard inboard engines, these old truck engines do not come with a protective covering to keep them dry. However, these people had the bright idea of fitting them with long shafts, extending the propeller about 10 feet into the water. Keeping the splashing salt water away from the engines, while giving the boats their distinctive long tail structure and appellation. Below the deck, passengers are able to enjoy an unrestricted view of the surrounding islands and creeks 
through large glass windows. ผมก็คือเป็นทะเบียนเรือบรรทุกสองประเภทบรรทุกผู้โดยสารและบรรทุกสินค้าครับผมเรื่องยาวครับผมถ้าสปีดโบ๊ทนี้เอ่อบรร
At the end of the journey, the engine is silenced, carefully serviced, and left in the best working condition possible. The crew will tie the mooring line to the dock and properly tidy up the boat before dispersing to refresh and ready themselves for the return schedule. Under the highly favorable year-round sailing conditions, these massive 40-year-old V8 engines, which had long been marked obsolete and discarded on one side of the planet, will continue to provide a decent source of livelihood for thousands of families here in Thailand. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time. Thank you.